Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. To all my returning subscribers, uh, thank you for coming back to my channel. And to all my new viewers, uh, welcome and thank you for stopping by. So today we'll be looking at this very special uh, silver coin uh, issued by the Republic of Peru. Uh, this was released in 1971 to commemorate the country's 150 years anniversary of independence. Uh, this is also one of the very few coins to feature a portrait of the last emperor of the Incan Empire, which I'll explain in more details uh, during the course of this video. But before we get into this, uh, please give me a like if you enjoy this sort of content, and don't forget to share and subscribe. So, let's get into it. As usual, uh, let's start with a little history. Before the formation of the country of Peru, this region of South America was once part of the Great Empire of Inca. Uh, this was discovered by the Spanish, who undertook a conquest of the empire in the 15th century. Uh, this conquest uh, lasted for 40 years, from 1532 to 1572. The Spanish conquest saw major conflicts in the empire. The introduction of disease such as smallpox, uh, which decimated the Incan population, and the integration of Spanish culture to the people, uh, something which we still see of uh, today. Uh, the region remained part of the Spanish Empire until the official independence of Peru in 1821, a process which was completed uh, four years later in 1824. Now prior to all of that, and during the final years of the Spanish conquest, the remnants of the Incan Empire was known as the Neo-Incan State in Vilcabamba of Peru. Uh, this state was ruled by Tupac Amaru, who ruled from 1545 to 1572 as the Sapa Inca, uh, which means the only Incan or emperor. Tupac Amaru led the state until his capture in 1572, where after he was uh, brutally executed by the Spaniards. Uh, his death saw the end of the Incan monarchy. In 1971, Peru celebrated her 150 years of independence. Now, along with a series of events, the Central Bank of Peru issued a series of commemorative coins including uh, this silver 50 solids coin. Now, before we go through the coin specifications, uh, let me just take a moment to explain the evolution of the Peruvian currency. The Peruvian sol was introduced in 1863 and remained the official currency of the country until 1985. Uh, prior to this, the Peruvian real was used, uh, this being somewhat equivalent to the Spanish real. Now, due to the chronic inflations in the 1980s, the soul was replaced by the Peruvian Inti in 1985. This new currency was also ravaged by inflation and was uh, rapidly replaced by the current uh, New World Soul or New Soul in 1991. And this is the currency uh, currently in use in the country today. Now, all the coins and notes of the previous currencies have been demonetized and can no longer be exchanged at the Peruvian banks. Uh, the soul was once pegged to the gold standard and the US dollars. Uh, just to give you an idea of the value, in 1975, uh, one US dollar was equivalent to 38.7 uh, solis. So this uh, 50 solis coin here would have an exchange value of approximately $1.50. Okay, uh, let's quickly now go to the specifications of the coin. The 1971 commemorative 50 solids coin was minted in 80% silver. It has a weight of 21.45 grams, a diameter of 37 millimeter, and a thickness of 2.6 millimeter with a reader edge. According to online sources, uh, this is a circulating commemorative coin. However, there were only 100,000 of these coins minted in brilliant and circulated, so I don't believe they saw a widespread use. Uh, there were no proof coins uh, issued. Now, in addition to this uh, 50 solid silver coin, the Bank of Peru also introduced uh, two other coins uh, with similar designs, uh, these being minted in copper nickel. Uh, one of these was a uh, 5 solid coin, which has a mintage of 3,480,000, while the other was a uh, 10 solid coin, uh, which has a mintage of 2,460,000. Here on the obverse, we can see the coat of arms of Peru in the middle. And in the shield, uh, right over here, we can see a viconia. 
the National Animal of Peru. And over here, we can see a chichona tree, the national flora of the country. Uh, right below is a cornucopia, uh, representing the mineral richness of Peru. Uh, flanking the shield, on the left, we can see a palm branch. While on the right, we can see a laurel. Uh, these uh, represent uh, victory and glory. Uh, the branches are bound by a ribbon, which in color uh, represents the colors of the national flag. Uh, you will have seen uh, the uh, coat of arms here uh, in color at the beginning of this video. Now, I don't speak Spanish, but I'll do my best uh, not to butcher the inscription here on the edge. Uh, right over here, we have the words in Spanish, uh, which reads uh, Banco Central de Reserva de Peru, uh, which translates to the Central Bank of Peru. And over here, we have the composition of the metal, uh, Ocho Decimos Fino, uh, which translates to uh, basically 80% uh, fine silver. Uh, right below, we have the year of issue, uh, 1971. Along the edge, we can see the reader edge. On the reverse, we have the design by Armando Pareja with the portrait of Tupac Amaru in the center. Uh, he's facing to the right and he's wearing a white brim hat. Uh, his name is inscribed above. And to his left, we have the face value of the coin, uh, 50. Uh, just below that, we have the name of the designer, Pareja. And below that, we have the mint mark of the mint that produced this coin. It's a stylized uh, LMA, uh, standing for Lima, Peru. Again, uh, my apologies if I'm butchering the Spanish, but right below the portrait, we have the face value of the coin in Spanish, uh, which reads uh, Sequenta Soles de Oro, or 50 Soles. And along the border, we have these words in Spanish, uh, which reads Sosque Centenario de la Independencia de Peru which translates to uh, 150th anniversary of independence of Peru. Uh, just below that, we have the years of the independence, uh, 1821 to 1971. As you can see, uh, this coin has been graded by PCGS uh, with a grade of mint state 64. I find that to be quite good, uh, especially for a circulating commemorative coin. I didn't send this coin off for grading. Uh, I actually won this in auction as a graded coin. Uh, the grade includes the PCGS uh, Gold Shield, uh, which uh, gives uh, extra assurances for the grade, as well as the authenticity of the coin. I do like the overall design, although I do find it to be a little bit busy. In common with coins uh, like those uh, issued by Mexico, uh, this coin includes the uh, finest of the metal, 80% uh, silver, uh, which I find to be uh, quite nice. Uh, similar to that uh, that you see on bullion coins. Okay. Before I end this video, uh, let me just share with you my final thoughts. Uh, these coins are not uh, very common, and you don't often see them uh, being listed on online platform like eBay. I did check the recent uh, eBay sold listings, and for ungraded coins, uh, they were sold for around 30 to 40 US dollars. Uh, graded examples uh, in Mint State uh, did command a price of between 50 to 100 US dollars, uh, depending on their grade. So I would say uh, these are not uh, coins that you would uh, get to add to your silver stacks. Uh, rather, these are collector coins, and they should be uh, collected on their numismatic value. As such, uh, if you are looking to add uh, commemorative coins uh, to your collection and you want to add uh, these coins to your collection, I would suggest that you try to get one that is in the highest grade uh, that you can uh, afford to buy. Do note again that these coins have been uh, demonetized and they will not be accepted in any banks in Peru. Again, uh, as with my previous video, I'm not a financial advisor, and this video is just for entertainment purposes. So before you part with your hard-earned money, uh, please consult with your financial planner uh, before making uh, such decisions. So I guess that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a look at this uh, quite uh, uncommon coin. 
Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. Otherwise, uh, don't forget to leave me a like if you have enjoyed this content. And don't forget to hit that share and subscribe buttons if you have not done so. As always, you all please take care, uh, be safe, and have a nice day.